from the Golden Tower of the Fisher Building. This is the great voice of the Great Lakes. News Talk 760 WJR, Detroit, an ABC-owned station. Martin Luther King Day is being celebrated throughout the nation. In Philadelphia, the Liberty Bell was rung, sending a centennial bell and other bells across the country into ringing in honor of the slain civil rights leader. Many schools are paying tribute to MLK. In West Bloomfield, students wrote messages and created artwork on the walls at the school. I noticed some of them say, um, we make peace on earth or we share, but whatever it is, if it's big or small, it's how they carry Dr. Martin Luther King's dream. WWJ Detroit. The West Bloomfield School District is hosting two days of events commemorating Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, this evening will be the first uh, one. A special candlelight vigil begins at 7. Stuart Brickner is co-chair of the two-day event. He tells us more about what they're calling United We Walk. The candlelight vigil will begin at the high school, West Bloomfield High School, on Orchard Lake Road. And that will commence at 7 p.m. and is put on by the Clergy Association of West Bloomfield. Brickner says there will also be events scheduled throughout the day tomorrow at the West Bloomfield High School. 8.30 tomorrow morning, they have a breakfast, the main program at 9, and then a 1.5-mile walk beginning at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Live from Detroit News you're watching WDIV Local 4, where local news comes first. Now, local first news at 6. And Canton's program is just one of many local events celebrating Dr. King's life and achievements today. Dr. King's son, Martin Luther well, King III, spent the day here in Metro Detroit, and he spoke about his dad's legacy at Providence Hospital in Southfield. And in West Bloomfield, hundreds of students marched in United We Walk. It was a memorial peace walk to remember Dr. King's vision. This is Fox 2 News, news that works for you. In word and in song, more than a thousand local students pay tribute to Martin Luther King, Jr. West Bloomfield High School hosted the 8th annual United We Walk program. The rally featured students from 28 schools across Wayne and Oakland counties in honor of Dr. King and his message of peace. Senator Carl Levin, Congressman Joe Nolenberg, and I were among the speakers. Later, students and families joined hands outside in a symbolic march down Orchard Lake Road. Organizers say the event grows larger every year. This is the UPN 50, 10 o'clock news. A candlelight vigil in West Bloomfield tonight marking the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. Just one of dozens events throughout Metro Detroit tonight and tomorrow. The West Bloomfield School District is holding a wide range of events, including programs of drama and oratory, along with speeches and music. You're watching WXYZ 7. Now, Action News at noon with Robbie Timmons, Eric Smith, and Dave Rexroth with weather. Thousands of people in the Detroit area are celebrating the life of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. State offices are closed, postal workers have the day off, and many cities are observing a special day by holding marches and celebrations in the streets. Let's go live to West Bloomfield and Channel 7 Action News reporter Bill Proctor. Bill? West Bloomfield High School once again for eight years now has held a celebration that seems to be growing year by year, but up in Oakland County some other cities did in fact step up to the plate and do something for Martin Luther King's birthday in the city of Southfield. They did in fact have a peace walk this morning. It began at the Hope United Methodist Church, a long walk down Civic Center Drive to that city's Civic Center, where they tell me that Civic Center Drive will be named, at least temporarily, Martin Luther King Drive. Here in West Bloomfield, the high school and the streets were filled with celebrants. Hundreds of people from several Oakland County communities, from preschoolers to great-grandparents, seemed to enjoy the light snowfall and mild temperatures as they began the annual walk. Their day began with an original song performed by young voices on the high school stage and the words of Martin Luther King, Jr. Say that I was a drum major for justice. Say that I was a drum major for peace. 
And on the walls of West Bloomfield High School, hands that held messages from the heart. I noticed some of them say, um, we make peace on earth or we share, but whatever it is, if it's big or small, it's how they carry Dr. Martin Luther King's dream. Um, it says, walk in peace in German. There was one that says, I want war to end, or I wish that war would end, and people say they carry their dream in their heart. After 9-11, I think more people are starting to see that, you know, we need to overcome as a uh, nation, as a union of people, not just black folks, not just Hispanic folks, or Arab American folks, but uh, as Americans. And other people decided to work in other ways on this Martin Luther King birthday, some volunteering their time, their efforts, their energy to help in various communities. Reporting live from West Bloomfield, Bill Proctor, Channel 7 Action News. You're watching WXYZ 7. Now, Action News at 6. With Dinah Lewis, Guy Gordon, Kim Adams with weather, and Don Shane on sports. Young voices joined together for a musical tribute to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. They honored him as a man committed to peace and as a leader who is determined to convince people of different races to live in harmony. Good evening to you, Diane and Guy. Have the night off. In a moment, we'll have much more on the celebrations honoring Dr. King. In West Bloomfield, there was a special march to honor Dr. King. A few hundred people gathered outside the high school on Orchard Lake Road and paraded down the street singing about peace and love.